Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel Commutech and here we have an HP X360 series of convertible laptop. This laptop is having 4 i3 7th generation of processor, 4 GB of memory and 1 TB of storage. The problem with this laptop is that the hard drive of this laptop is faulty and the BIOS setup is also reminding to replace the hard drive. So in this video we are going to replace the hard drive uh, with the new SSD and uh, I will uh, guide you step by step how to replace the hard drive and how to open this uh, laptop. So to replace the hard drive we need to uh, open this laptop first. So let's open this laptop. So to open this laptop we have to remove this rubber strip and these four rubber grips from this uh, bottom and for this we will require some tools uh, to open the screws we need a thin screwdriver a little big bit of screwdriver a tweezer an opener and a sharp blade or something else to remove the grips so first we will remove the grips and uh, these four rubber grips also Here you can see and can see the uh, yes. so So after securing the screws, we have to remove the top cover of this laptop, uh, the uh, touchpad or the key uh, keyboard cover we can say. So to remove this we need an opener like this and uh, making a little bit cap here, here, here and we have to insert this grip from this and now we can easily very very slowly we have to pull it upward but don't have to remove at present as you can see that uh, it has some cable connection over here this touchpad and this base are both connected with some cables so first we have to remove these cables these are for the keyboard and the touchpad cables so just remove the connector and remove the cables slowly and then we can detach this uh, complete uh, top from this bottom and uh, now we can see that uh, here is the hard drive present which we need to replace so it is also connected with the connector here and four screws are screwed with the uh, bottom so first we will remove these screws and this connector too and from this grip we can easily pull up this hard drive and now you can see it is also bounded with a, a casing here and this casing is tied up with the four screws with this hard drive so we will be removing these four screws also so one by one we will remove these screws and now we can uh, detach this casing also from the hard drive this is the casing and one more thing we have to remove from this drive is this uh, interface connector which will be required for the new drive and this is the connector we will be attaching with the new drive so this is the old hard drive which is faulty which we need to replace this is an ssd which is much faster than a hard drive so we will uh, put this in this laptop so
here you can see this is the brand new ssd here uh, august manufacturing 2023 seal uh, we will place this ssd in this laptop so first we have to put this in this casing and screw it back screw it up okay now we have physically uh, installed this drive to this laptop and it is time to place the top cover back so as we have removed the cover in the same manner we have to put it back so before putting it to the bottom we need to attach these uh, touchpad and keyboard connector with this motherboard so uh, very carefully we have to put them uh, one by one back to their place so now you can see i have placed them to the, their places properly and now we can fit the top cover with the base so to fit it back first uh, there are some grips here over here which we have to attach first so press them from the top and then from the side and then from the front and now you can see this is uh, connected properly screw it back from the uh, from the bottom now I put all the screws and it is time to fit the rubber grip back to it this bottom place and the rubber grip to be placed back Here you can see that I have placed all the screws back and the rubber grips also to their places and our laptop is ready to get installed a new operating system. Okay, please install an operating system on your hard drive. Now this hard drive error to replace the hard drive error has been gone and now we can install new operating system to this laptop so by following these steps you can also do the same for your laptop and thank you for watching my video so if you like my video please give me a thumbs up and subscribe my channel if you are new to my channel so thank you for watching